What I really, really want is a Spice Girl Sick and sick and I fuck up my whole world Pause when she talk nothing like old girl Scary and sporty Tell her what I want, what I really, really want is a Hey everyone, it's Taylor and welcome back to my channel. I am back and I'm better with another video. And in today's video, I'm going to be giving all my girls, all my females that watch me, I'm going to be giving you guys the long-awaited feminine hygiene routine, okay? So basically, in this video, I'm going to be showing you guys everything that I use to keep myself clean, you know, to clean myself up and, you know, just stay fresh you know just stay so fresh and so clean clean so all these products range from stuff that you can use on your body your hair your face you know all that types of stuff so i really hope it helps you guys out before we get started i just want to say that um i was actually going to title this video back to school hygiene routine but i just figured that you should always keep yourself clean it shouldn't just be during school you should make sure that you're you know up to date on showers and stuff like clean and stuff like that um during the summertime too as it is right now where I live, I know it's hot, so, but you should just be keeping yourself clean, even if you're not going to school. I just want to let you guys know, summer is your time to experience with different products and find products that may work for you, because I find that, like, during school, you don't want to ever, like, switch up on something that you've been using and know that works, and, you know, you don't want to buy something new that you really don't know works for you. So, summer is your time to just buy everything that you might need to help yourself keep, keep yourself clean, and stuff that, you know, you can so you can figure out what works for you school year is not your time because trust me i know from experience that i was just i went through this phase of buying a whole bunch of skincare products y'all and when i used out all that stuff on my face like it just broke my face out completely i was going to school every day with pimples and stuff on my face my face would hurt no matter how bad it hurt i just had to go to school like and that's the worst feeling ever you don't ever want to just break out when you know you can control it so in this video i'm going to be letting you guys know what's up with you know um face care hair care, body care, all the stuff that I use to typically keep myself clean and all that good stuff. So we're going to go ahead and get right into the video. If you're new here to my channel, make sure to subscribe down below and follow all my social medias. They'll be down below in the description box. Boys, y'all can watch this too if y'all want, but I'm actually, I'm referring to girls because I know 96% of y'all watch my videos. So this video is mainly referring to my girls. So we're going to go ahead and get right into it. So we're going to start off with body care. So when I get in the shower, I like to use shower gels um that really don't have sense to them i mean sometimes i like to use my you know my nice stuff but um most of the time i like to just make sure i'm really really clean i i'm not you like to use like drugstore um products that you know don't really have a strong scent to them so um if you have sensitive skin this is perfect for you if you are sensitive i know we're all like sensitive in our downstairs area but if you do have you know sensitive skin that can't really take lots of stuff even eczema something like that then this should be fine for you to use um it's the dove sensitive skin nourishing body wash um i love this stuff so much i've been using it for a long time now and um i just rebuy it all the time it's sulfate free uh, hypoallergenic it's just really it makes your skin really soft and um, it's dermatologist recommended so I, I've been using this for years now and I just really recommend it when it comes to you know cleaning our lady parts and making sure that we are squeaky clean down there and that you know we're not itching or irritated so it really helps to make sure that um you're not irritated down there because I know sometimes body washes and stuff can make us really itchy and you know bother us and irritate us down there which sucks because I've been through I know how it is you know using all that you know scented Victoria's Secret and Bath and Body Works shower gel is not good so you want to make sure that you just have a staple body wash that is good for your whole body even your downstairs area so that you know you can just shower and get in and get out you won't be you know and you won't have any like problems down there so this is really good for that um i do not itch when i use this at all i don't get irritated my skin is soft it's fine and it just works fine for me so basically when you clean your downstairs area aka vagina aka vaginal area you are not forcing you know soap inside and trying to push it inside like you don't want to do that you want to make sure that you're just around wiping it around and you know do, and just wiping around it and cleaning around it and you know that type stuff um I don't recommend like trying to force soap inside because that's just like that may irritate you but this soap doesn't irritate you but I'm just saying like that can cause problems with, like your pH balance it can cause you to you know end up smelling bad and which like you probably be like why would I smell bad if I'm using a soap that smells good like that's not healthy to just you know force some soap up there it's not so um you know you're what some people don't understand is that you clean out your vag vaginal area um, you clean that out 
by drinking lots of water you know lots of water bottles and eating healthy um eating healthy things can cause you to you know smell good down there you don't have to just pour some soap up there um, and expect to smell like flowers and rainbows it's not gonna smell like flowers rainbows sunshine and lollipops okay it's gonna smell normal like a normal vagina does they can um you can control it and make it just smell normal and you know make it not stink that's what i know you can do that's what i know you can do um so yeah it just takes drinking lots of water and make sure that you're just you know including lots of fruits and vegetables in your diet now i'm not a vegetable person i really don't eat vegetables unless you know i'll go to red lobster every blue moon and get some broccoli on the side of my crab legs but that's about it i really am not a vegetables person but i can't say that i am you know a fruit lover i love fruit i love apples grapes and strawberries this is my top three um you know just take them to school you know this can this can relate to school this video can relate to school um take some fruit to school you know here and there just to you know keep making sure that you're healthy and that you know everything's good down there and that you don't end up stinking because it really can help you know your diet can really affect how you smell down there so you want to make sure that you're eating healthy things and that you're not always eating junk because i know i'm a junk lover y'all i love cookies i love my chocolate chip cookies like i can have some right now i can have some right now i love my chocolate chip cookies i love love, love me some takis and some hot cheetos and all that good stuff but honestly well no, i'm not saying it's good stuff you know but it's good stuff feel me so um yeah it's just like you can control what you you know what you're putting your body in that can end up helping you smell better down there lots of water like i said can really help um this may be tmi but i noticed that once i started to drink lots of water my periods really don't smell as bad like they're really like smelling better like usually like when i'm in the restroom i'll be like in the restroom um you know on my period or whatever and i usually just smell it and it's just like i haven't been having that lately and i've just been like a proud girl because i'm just like oh i really don't smell bad maybe i'm doing something right maybe i'm eating healthy and you know maybe drinking lots of water is helping me like not even like smell like of course all periods have a smell but you know what i mean like you can kind of just like settle that smell down this is the soap that i use um if you are um one that likes a little bit more of a smell to your body and not just like a plain smell because this uh soap doesn't really have a smell to it it smells really soapy it just smells normal it doesn't smell like you know anything strong but i know there are some girls who just really don't like those soaps that smell strong and they just like a subtle smell um so if you are that type of girl who is the opposite of that and likes to have you know a smell to your body and you know more of um you know just a scent that you just you just like to put on your body um this is the suave or sway i don't know how to say it um cherry wild cherry blossom shower gel that i love to use as well um it smells really good y'all it's at target all these products that i'm showing you guys you guys can get this at target um but i love or walmart of course any drugstore but this one is all my all-time favorite so i love this suave or suave whatever i love this ch wild cherry blossom um it smells really amazing it has a really really strong smell to it like when i'm coming out the shower i smell myself like i'm strong like this stuff smells so good your body have a really nice smell to it um you can use this down there as well in your downstairs area um it works really well it doesn't irritate me it hasn't irritated me at all and i don't see you know i don't feel any itchiness or any irritation so that's pretty good for um, a body wash that has a fragrance to it like i never thought that this um you know but i can't say the same for bath and body works or victoria's secret um sadly but this one doesn't irritate me down there at all and it really does work well um as well as giving my body a really nice smell to it so really recommend this um yeah it's really inexpensive all these products all these shower gels are really expensive they're literally drugstore shower gels so before y'all go to school make sure you guys go pick up something to just smell fresh and keep yourself clean these are the my top two shower gels that i use and um i love them so definitely go pick these up y'all um they do not irritate you they shouldn't irritate you they have been you know doing me fine doing me well for years now i've been using like this these same two products for like years like seventh grade i think yeah if you are a soap bar person this is the next thing that i like to use well i haven't used them yet but um well, i've used it but like not this exact package because i've had this and i just haven't you know been using this because i feel like shower gels are just easier to use and a lot quicker so um yeah the dove sensitive skin soap bars are also good for your skin we're gonna talk about vaginas you know the word that nobody likes to say because they embarrassed or they don't want nobody hearing them say it because they think it's gonna be nasty 
or whatever they think it's gonna be they, they think i don't know what they be thinking i don't know what anybody be thinking but it's you know it's whatever it's that's what it's called you know vag vagina vaginal area whatever you want to call it that's what it's called that's what it is um no need to hide from it you know we're all females 96 percent of my subscribers are females so that's why you know I feel comfortable saying it with y'all because I mean most of y'all that watch me are females so I'm not ashamed at all because I know I'm a woman I'm so proud to say that I am a woman I love it I accept it and I embrace it okay I think I talked about period a little bit but not too much if you guys want to see a period hygiene video then make sure to give this video a big thumbs up and I'll be sure to do that video for y'all um I think I have a little bit more like different tips for that because that's something that's different so if y'all want to see that then give this video a thumbs up or comment down below but we're gonna go ahead and talk about this topic the vagina so discharge is normal guys discharge girls girls discharge is normal we all get it it's to clean out our system and make sure that everything is clean and going well and it tells you it actually tells you something so if you are you know if it's clear or has a clear white color it tells you that you're healthy and that everything is good down there if it has a you know green yellow type of color and it you know doesn't smell too good then that's to tell you that your body something is wrong something is up at your body and you need to go get it checked out by a doctor so if it smells like nothing like for me it doesn't smell like anything it just doesn't smell like anything at all which is kind of weird because like you would think it would um but it does have like a kind of a scent to it but like kind of not a scent like i don't know how to explain it like it has a scent but it doesn't like it's like it's nothing but it is it's something you know so if you get that then that's normal um you're fine you're not you don't have anything to worry about um you're healthy you just continue doing what you're doing continue to wash your diet drink lots of water and you'll be straight sometimes you know others get more amounts than others um it's normal um if you get lots of it for me i typically you know i feel uncomfortable with it because sometimes it's just like it, that feeling of you know that wet feeling is just sometimes it's uncomfortable so if you have that feeling just wipe um you know you really can't do anything about it we're females and it happens and it's normal it's life that's how you know our bodies work so um you know just wipe it you don't have to really go to the restroom and just wipe that's all i have to say that's what i do that's what i've been doing like since seventh grade i think when i started getting it seventh grade yeah seventh grade so just wipe it and you should be fine you know don't feel embarrassed or nothing everybody gets it um if you do not get it then if your panties look completely like nothing on it at the end of the day then definitely go get it checked out because every female should be getting it no matter what at least if you're like a teenager then you should be getting it now we're gonna go on with like what i use to shave um i like to use these eos shaving cream for my legs my armpits and you know all the other stuff what i start to do lately is use nair and i do not have the nair with me right now because i'm too lazy to go get it but i use the nair facial cream um it's in a really small bottle you know what i'm gonna go get it i'm being lazy i'm gonna go get it for y'all i like to use the nair face cream moisturizing hair removal i actually use this for like my um upper lip hair because i do get lip hairs i'm really hairy i'm a really hairy girl but um and i'm not ashamed of that because you know hair is fine you know it's just hair you can remove it you can keep it you can do whatever you want to it there's no need to be ashamed of you know growing hair and you know places i used to be really embarrassed of having a um mustache what people will call it what boys will call it um you know in fourth grade and stuff like that and you know when i was growing up fourth grade fifth grade sixth grade but honestly i just learned to embrace you know hair is hair and you know i'm beautiful with or without the hair so but i did start you know as i got older i did start feeling a little, little bit more self-conscious of it and i just you know decided to just start getting rid of it and i used to get waxes at this hair salon but then i just decided that like you know i didn't always want to wait two months or a month to make an appointment and go there i found this at target and i was like oh my gosh i can finally use something for my lip and not have to wait a long time to make an appointment and go get it waxed so um I started using this Nair face cream and it works really good for my lip hairs but I also like to use it for my armpits because you know it just gets the hair off and I feel like Nair just really helps keep the hair away for a while. Hair won't grow as fast. I feel like with razors your hair goes really really fast but I do like to use razors for my legs anyways just because I feel like um you know it's just easier to just the shaving cream so much it smells so good basically what i like to do before i get in the shower i like to take this stuff and just put it all over my legs rub it all over my legs and um have it sit on there for like five to ten minutes then i will go in the shower and i will shave so the shaving um so the razor that i like to use is the bic sole sole i think isn't bic a pencils brand i think it is a pencil brand or a pen brand or something but um Ooh, it, it has a lot of hair in it 
But um, I use this and I don't have the pack. I threw the pack away because I think this was my last razor. So I'm going to definitely have to get some more before school starts because, honey, when I'm wearing ripped jeans, I really do not like to see the hair on my legs. So, um, you know, I like to use this big sole. Razor. I think I just started using this this summer, actually. But another good razor that I like to use um, is the Venus razors i think those are a target as well the venus razors are really good for you know your skin keeping your skin soft but i really i've been really loving this razor my skin is soft and i don't really get as many cuts unless i you know dry shave or unless you know i don't have any more shaving cream on my legs and i just try to shave then it'll cut you but you have to be really careful and make sure that you have as much shaving cream on your legs as possible so that you will not get any cuts so i love this stuff so much um it doesn't it hasn't irritated my skin just really helpful for you know making sure that i don't get razor bumps or um cuts lotion that i like to use when i get out the shower um i like to use bath and body works lotions as you guys know i love smelling good um as you can see i got my little bath and body works collection back there if you haven't seen my haul then um, go check that out because I showed you guys all those products I use. But I use those lotions too. But one lotion that I've really been loving is the Nevea Essentially Enriched Body Lotion from Target. It smells amazing, y'all. It does not have a strong smell to it. Um, but it also doesn't just smell like, you know, plain old Aveeno lotion. Which I really do not like Aveeno lotion. Like the smell of it is just like really funny smelling to me. So this lotion smells so good. Oh my gosh. Like it has a really subtle smell to it. Like can't really say it's like cocoa butter because it's different than cocoa butter but if you guys are ever in stores and make sure you just go smell this because it smells amazing like the smell like every time i'm just like around somebody be like you smell good like that this is lotion it smells good it's not strong it's not too strong it's not too subtle it's just like it's just right we're gonna talk about breath your breath so i like to use the crest complete whitening scope um i've been trying to brush my teeth at morning and night because your girl got some cavities so you know um make sure you do not make this mistake i did and brush your teeth at night and make sure you floss like dennis be telling y'all because you do not want to end up like me okay i'm really i you should feel sorry for me because i'm about to go through something that's just gonna be like so scary and i'm kind of nervous but you know what i'm about to get back on my game and start taking care of my teeth more because I need to start brushing and flossing more but this is the soap that i you shame on me this is the toothpaste that i like to use make sure that when you brush your teeth that you brush your tongue and the roof of your mouth like the roof of your mouth because when you're sleeping your tongue is sitting on the roof of your mouth at night so it's like you're i know y'all not sleeping like this i mean some people might be sleeping like this that's no excuse your breath still gonna be stinking so your tongue is basically sitting on your the roof of your mouth like at night when you're asleep so make sure that you brush your tongue and the roof of your mouth because the roof of your mouth can you know stink too from you know your tongue being on it so make sure you just brush all that um your gums as well um i like to use mouthwash as well but i ran out recently i promise y'all my breath don't stink i just ran out for real for real for real so but i do use the green listerine bottle you know what i mean y'all know what i'm talking about the green the green the big old green listerine bottle is what i use like during the school year and stuff like that next i'm gonna be doing hair care um during the school year i usually like to straighten my hair just because it's really easier to manage and i'm not you know constantly have my hands on my head trying to you know define my curls and you know just do all that stuff and i just feel like it's just way easier for me to just you know do my hair when it's straightened because all i have to do is literally just comb it part it how i want it you know style it how i want it i'm about to show you guys it all are the you know shampoo and conditioner that i would use if you know i did my hair at home which i don't do my own hair um i only do my hair sometimes but my mom actually helps me out so usually i'll wash it and then she'll deep condition it um if i don't go to the salon and get it done sometimes whenever you um you know straighten your hair you want it to still smell good because i know sometimes when your hair is natural it you know always smells good because you're just always constantly putting like you know products in and stuff but when it's straight sometimes it's hard you know for me as an african-american i don't wash my hair every single day um so sometimes it's kind of hard to like you know really find the right products to keep my hair smelling good because i do wash my hair like you know every two weeks so i like to use the care care anti-dandruff moisturizing shampoo if you have dandruff or dry hair dry scalp dry itchy scalp this works really good i remember when i was you know how old was i was i eighth grade I think it was like eighth grade when I just started getting lots of dandruff out of nowhere and my hair was just uh, my hair's always been like dry so you know low porosity so my mom was looking for like you know a good shampoo and conditioner for me and she found these so if we do our hair at home then these are the products that I really love that we really like to use on my hair so this is the care care shampoo and then I also use the care care leave-in conditioner not leave-in conditioner conditioner I think you can find this at Sally's though so maybe Sally's um I'm not sure if I found this at Ulta 
I do not know. Y'all can look it up or actually I'll have a link down below where I found it. But the Care Care products are really amazing. They smell really good and strong. Um, they just have an amazing smell to them. So um, when you strain your hair, you'll still smell this in your hair. Now I'm going to be showing you guys all of the products that I've just recently purchased when I was out of town. Because I know y'all saw my last video. I was actually out of town. And I'm back home now. It was just a, just a little quick weekend trip. You know, just fun to get out, get away, and do some fun things with my family. So I'm... Now I'm about to show you guys the products I picked up. Um, I went to Target and Family Dollar, and I just wanted to include it in this video just because I feel like they are kind of like somewhat hygiene products. I went to Family Dollar, and um, or oh never mind, this is Dollar General, Dollar General, and picked up a few things. Um, you know, I just wanted to get out the house, and you know, I just love shopping for like beauty products, hair. I love hair products. I just, it's just kind of an obsession. So, um, but here I just mainly got like. I don't know. I'm going to show y'all. So, I got this lotion. It's the Almond Shea Butter Lotion, Body Lotion. And it's 100% natural almonds and shea butter extracts. Um, and it just smells so good. Like, I really just was attracted to the smell. And I tried it out and it really works good on my skin. You know, makes it really smooth and soft. Um, I used it on my legs, actually, the other night when I shaved. And it just made my skin really soft. So, I love this lotion. It smells so good. Um, I don't know why it smells so good, but it smells really good. So, definitely go get, go get you some... Uh, lotion because from dollar general this was actually two dollars actually let me check how much it was so that y'all can buy it if y'all want to buy it then y'all can get it um uh, it was um oh it's actually three dollars next i picked up this deep conditioner which i probably won't ever use till like next summer but it's always good to just stock up on like hair products you know just because it's kind of an addiction so it's kind of you know it's just good to just stock up you know when you're just addicted to it you can't help it picked up the olive oil formula palmers with vitamin e let me just let me just not say the whole thing olive oil deep conditioner for frizz prone hair it's a moisture rich formula for strong shiny hair no sulfates no parabens no blah blah blah, blah no mineral oil and no gluten um jamaican black castor oil i wish jamaican black castor oil is really good for your hair so when i read this i was like hold up because jamaican black castor oil that's your hair girl formula right there so it looks like this and you know i just wanted a hair mask i really don't typically use hair masks just because i feel like they do take up a lot of time and i just sometimes i just don't be feeling like doing it like i really don't so i don't know why about it but you know it's good to have it and i can't wait to try it out because you know it was cheap and i just wanted to buy something like i just felt like spending some money which isn't good you should save your money but honestly i can't wait to try it anyways um you know so i got this um and yeah so oh let me tell you how much that was and that was actually 175 okay or you know one dollar and 75 cents at this freeman clearing sweet lemon peel off clay mask um i love this mask i used it last night and my skin is looking good no i'm playing it looks okay but no i use i didn't use it on my whole face i like to use the black one on my whole face the clay mask i should draw my haul on my whole face but not whole face but like i use this on my under eyes and my nose and it worked really good um i feel like my skin is like brighter i don't know what it is like my eyes are brighter i don't know i'm just maybe i'm just thinking maybe i'm just dreaming but um you know it smells really good and it says it instantly removes impurities and tones plus tones for radiant skin and it's an easy to peel mask y'all it says it is and it really is easy like i really just pulled the whole thing off like that and it didn't hurt it doesn't peel you know Pull your skin next i went to target and i picked up two things from target the first thing is this argan oil of morocco conditioner and i've been wanting to try this so bad y'all like i've been wanting to try it it smells so good and I, when i just seen hair hair reviews on it i was just like oh my gosh i'm gonna try it and i've always like went to the store and smelled it and then i like put it back like i didn't get it even though i knew like oh i want to try it but i always just like ended up getting something else other than this so i've been wanting to try this so bad i'm really excited because you know it's just it smells so good honestly y'all i'm about to straighten my hair anyway so i don't know why i bought all these hair products but um you know next year or when i want to like wear my natural hair then i'll just you know use my products i bought because i already you know i already stocked up on them so you know but i got this conditioner it smells really good haven't used it yet so i'm really excited to use it um but yeah so organics and organics really works good on my hair next product i got is the quenching coconut curls conditioner it's really big oh my gosh i love it um but this is actually i actually use this already and it works really good on my hair as you can see i used it last night and i just i have so much volume like my curls look a little bit tighter than they usually do which is cute like i love that look like i'm really excited with how like this turned out because honey like look how pretty like look how 
voluminous this is like my ponytail is so big today like it's never been like this big and it's just making me so happy like it made my makes my mood happy like to see how big it is like it's like usually they're like really like small and tiny this one was six dollars this one was like six dollars as well that's all that i purchased when i was out of town i really hope you guys enjoyed this little video that i did if you guys want to see another you know period hygiene video make sure you guys give me a big thumbs up and subscribe to my channel down below follow all my social medias they'll be down below in the description box and i'll catch you guys in my next video <laughs>